It's that time of the month again to answer all of your questions. For the past couple of months, I have been doing these monthly Q&A videos where I post a thing over in the YouTube community section asking for your questions and I answer them all in one video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or keep your eyes out to the YouTube community page because on November 1st as well, I'll be posting the next one of these. But for now, good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your days go well and hope it continues to go well. Here is the monthly Q&A. Let's get right into it. If you could pick a T.O.P. song that doesn't have a music video to get a music video, what would it be? In my opinion, Redecorate and or Hometown should get music videos. Definitely would love to see a Redecorate music video. But for my answer, I think really anything off of self-titled would be interesting for a music video just because we don't have any music videos from that era we technically have some regional at best music videos but we and of course we have vessel blurry face trench and of course sigh but we don't have any music videos from self-titled and i would just love to see what one of those would look like what is your favorite 21 pilot album i think at the moment my favorite fa uh, 21 pilot album right now is Vessel, but of all time it is scaled in icy because what is your favorite 21 Pilots era? The Scale and Icy era, because that's where I have the most nostalgia right there, which is weird to see because we're technically still in the Scale and the Icy era, but this era, 21 Pilots, has changed my life and where I've started creating all this content. I've seen the channel grow from just a thousand subscribers to over 4,000 in the span of a year, and I've made so many good friends al uh, along the way, as well as getting noticed by Tyler on the Twitter machine a couple of times. And I just have so many fond memories of this era versus the trench era where I was just a casual fan. So that's why this is my favorite era and why Scale Nicey is one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah. Do you like Jocko Pastorius? As someone who loves jazz and as someone who plays bass, it's hard not to like Jocko. I love Jocko's playing. He is the, if not one of the best bassists of all time. Loves music, love his work, and of course, I own the Squire version of the Jocko bass, so I definitely am a fan of Jocko. Now, do I listen to his music all the time? No, because his music isn't exactly the first one I listen to because uh i want to listen to something with lyrics more so but regardless huge fan of jocko do you like me yes or no dave you know i love you and i'll tell you that to your face sunday if you still want to hang out which hopefully by this time this video uploads and hopefully by the time you see i've sent you a text confirming if we are still hanging out on sunday is blurry face attractive stop it get some help what is your favorite song from each 21 Pilot album? Which also answers, what is your favorite song on self-titled? So my favorite song on self-titled is Add It With A Pen. My favorite song off of Regional At Best is Anathema. Favorite off of Vessel is Car Radio. Favorite off of Blurry Face is Lame Boy. On Trench it is Smithereens. And on Scale Nicey it is Choker. And if you want to throw No Fun Intended into this, which technically isn't a 21 pile album this Tyler just a solo album regardless tonight what if I say I'm not like the others what if I say I'm not just another one of your plays you're the pretender what if I say I will never surrender you know I've never actually listened to a lot of the Foo Fighters which is a sin on my part as someone who is very well, still is very entrenched in rock music I have not listened to a lot of the Foo Fighters Pretender is the song I most know as well as all the stuff that used to play while I was working as a meat rapper oh I know a couple of their songs but I need to do a deep dive into Foo Fighters more have you ever listened to NF no, I have not. NF has been on the radar of people to listen to. It's one of those things that I'm saving for listening, uh, doing the reaction series on the channel, listening to people's music, such as Radiohead and insert other artists here that I have always wanted to listen to, but I just don't make the time for them. So that will be a reaction series on the channel I listen to 
And uh, if I listen to Radiohead, insert your other favorite artists here that I really haven't listened to. A bit far-fetched, but would you be willing to collaborate on my channel? Yeah, sure, it all depends on what it is and why, but I'm open to all collaborations. It just depends on what it is. What is your favorite alternate tuning? Hold on one moment. So my favorite alternate tuning is very common in the math rock community and Yvette Young uses this. It is F, A, C, G, C, E. It is absolutely beautiful. Just strumming it opens beautiful. You get some very beautiful harmonics in here. It's super, super nice. And if I want to get lost in the world and meditate to music, this will be the tuning that I go in. This will be how I just mess around. Wrote a couple of songs in here that I need to finish, but it's absolutely one of my favorite tunings. And if anyone wonders a popular song that used this tuning, Never Bent by American Football. Let's see if I remember how to play it. like that. But if I'm playing more heavy metal stuff, open C, open B tuning like Devin Townsend uses. What song do you find playing the most just for fun? Well, I have two songs for you. Number one being Tennessee Jed by The Grateful Dead. Super fun, and then I've been listening to a lot of John Mayer recently and actually decided, hey, let's learn some John Mayer songs. So I've been recently learning Slow Dancing in a Burning Room, and it's definitely a fun one to play. Very fun. In jumpsuit that Tyler says you'll have to grab my throat and lift me in the air and in the video for tear in my heart that is exactly what Jenna is doing to Tyler also in levitate I got back what I once bought back in that slot won't need to replace sounds like a connection to the slot where his car car radio was once but now he has it back so I think some things were brought up before but what do you think definitely I when I first heard levitate back when it was first released uh, back in 2018 I made that connection immediately and I was like oh snap that is a great line there but I've never really made that connection to tear my heart to jumpsuit only for the sole reason of the tear my heart music video it's very confusing especially if you try to wrap it into the Dima storyline somehow but uh, yeah never made that connection but definitely have made that connection to levitate the car radio what do you think of the whole white rabbit thing going on in WWE? Personally, I love this kind of stuff. So for all those who don't watch professional wrestling, specifically WWE, for the past month leading up to their pay-per-view Extreme Rules, they were doing an ARG on their TV with teases of this character called the White Rabbit, which was a return of a fan favorite wrestler named Bray Wyatt. And they put a whole bunch of QR codes that were just hidden throughout to the show. They were sending me to websites of very cryptic stuff. They would hide stuff in code, which I was a huge fan of. I love that ARG type stuff and very surprised that it went as well as it did. And the fact that there was no fan like trying to interfere, like in the Tony Pilots community with ARGs, you have 50 ARGs going on trying to be like, no, we're the real uh, ARG for 21 Pilots. No, we are. But for WWE, they only had that one person. They don't know of anyone trying to do their own ARG for the White Rabbit. So really cool stuff. Definitely was a fan of it and definitely wanted to to Bray Wyatt, because let's face it, if it didn't lead to Bray Wyatt, a lot of people would be upset. How do you deal with copyrights? That is a huge can of worms that honestly I could devote an entire video to just because there's so much I can get into. It's such an interesting topic and I think it would help out some people. But basically, the short summary of it is we just upload and we hope for the best. And honestly, that's how I deal with most of my stuff. In terms of uploading a cover to the channel, 
one of three things can happen. And all three of these things have to do with monetization, not really in terms of copyright striking or getting blocked anywhere. So either nothing can happen, so the ad revenue just goes straight to me, so give me your pennies and half pennies. Uh, either, and then second thing is that sharing could happen, so the monetization gets split with myself and 21 Pilots, so you split your half pennies amongst us. And or the third thing, ineligible for monetization, so all the pennies go to 21 Pilots. And I say pennies because that's what ad revenue on YouTube is, it's just pennies. If you could help Tyler recreate one of his older songs instrumentally, what song would you want to be? So I'm assuming this is anything off of No Fun Intended as Tyler's older stuff. Honestly, I would love to do the guitars for Blasphemy or Drown or add guitar to Tonight. I think, you know, those would be my final answers in this category. But if I'm going off of self-titled and regional at best, Anathema, as well as Trapdoor. I think that'd be fun to add some guitar into, or Air Catcher, or add it with a pen. Do you get tired of making T.O.P. content? Quite frequently, actually. I go through a lot of 21 Pilot burnouts, just because we have been making 21 Pilot videos for over a year and a half now, non-stop. And sure, we've had like some one or two one-off non-21 Pilot related videos, but for the most part, we've been talking about 21 Pilots for every day for a year and a half. And I sometimes do get tired of it. Sometimes I do miss the days where I uploaded twice a week to YouTube, where it was a guitar video on Monday and a 21 Pilots guitar lesson on Thursday. Some days I miss those days. Some days I wish I could just do more music content. People would care equally as the 21 Pilot videos, even though that's why I know a lot of people are subscribed to the channels. Now, this isn't me saying I regret all this. No way. I do not regret making the 21 Pilot videos because it has changed my life in so many ways in so many positive ways but sometimes i do get a little burnout of making 21 pilot content and of course i'm not going to stop making 21 pilot content because i love entertaining you all i love 21 pilots and i do enjoy making these videos but sometimes i wish i can just make more of this style guitar content and people would care equally about that and on that downer. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the monthly Q&A. If you have any questions, leave them for me down in the comment section below. If you want to answer any of these questions, answer them down in the comment section below also. And keep an eye on that YouTube community page on the channel, because on November 1st, we'll post another one of these, hey, give me your questions, and we'll use them for the Q&A next month. But anyway, guys, my throat is very dry, so I'm going to go grab some water, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Bye, and good night more importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.